go on, you have a good laugh. I hope it chokes you. <sighs> Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, I got your text. Um, I just had to nip into town for... Uh, for a plunger, actually. I know, well, the pub blues are blocked again. It's a nightmare. So, do you know what? I'm going to give it to Charles as a late birthday present. <laughs> oh, no, tell me about it. Sometimes I can't believe how much I love my life. Okay, babe. And I blame you for it. Every little bit. Thought we'd read no more skiving off school. I'm not skiving. It's a bank holiday. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Way off, anyway. No, we're much. So you and them shifty little eyes of yours not heading off to home farm by any chance? What if I was? Well, then I'd say it's only marginally better than if you were bunking off and make sure you're back for your tea. Wait, so I can go? Yesterday I want one off. Well, I'm hardly going to wrestle you to the ground and sit on you till you give in. Still don't like it, though. Right, well, cheers. See you, Mum. You are sailing dangerously close to avoiding me. Please, just leave it. Yeah, this isn't actually about us. Why? What's happened? <sighs> I went to Bales's house again. You didn't. I keep imagining the bit where I tell his poor, deluded Carver wife who she really married. But I never reached the front door. What do you mean, never? <sighs> because I've been going there the past few days, OK? Because he's managed to wheedle his way back in here. And he knows that now because he saw me. So what did he say? Nothing. I drove off. I saw him on the phone. He was talking, laughing, joking. I mean, he's probably killing himself that he's pulled this off, that he's got away with it all. No, he hasn't got away with it all. But look at you. Look at you, Charity. You bit back. You got on with your life. Wow, that was fast. Would you have been as speedy if I'd been robbed at gunpoint? Or has, um, the bell's got a special bat phone? Or something else that rhymes with bat? You know why we're here, then? Saves time, at least. So parking outside someone's house to take a phone call is now harassment, is it? You've admitted to knowing you're outside D.I. Bale's home. We're aware he was instrumental in securing a previous conviction against you. Well, like I say, it was a coincidence. I wouldn't have known he lived there had I not seen him gawping through the window like some... neighbourhood watch weirdo. I'm giving you a warning to stay away from D.I. Bale's. Fine by me. We'll see ourselves out. Please say you're going to listen to them. Talk about once a spiteful coward. There he goes again, sticking the knife in. Oh, I hate him. Charity, you need to stop this now. Do I? I have begged you to report that low life, but you took a bribe to stay away. If he thinks you're going after him, God knows what he'll pull. He's well connected enough to get away with it. Look, just back off, please. Don't give him any more chances to ruin your life. And that means steering clear of Tracy's task force thing tomorrow. Right. Look, once it's launched, she'll hopefully have no reason to see Bales. And after that, we never have to say that man's name again. OK?